Welcome to another Papercraft Society box reveal. This month we are delving into box number 38. Now this Christmas wintry themed box has been designed by Daisy May Designs. So you're going to see some fun characters in there. Now Daisy May Designs are known for the stamps within that brand. So there may be some stamps in there. I've not actually delved in and had a look at all yet. So I'm doing this with you. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful of course. There's always going to be over 60 pounds worth of product in there you have lots of subscription options as well so let's take a look first of all and then let's go through all your subscription options afterwards so first of all I love the foiling that we've got on this box I mean I always swoon about the boxes don't I because you can keep them you can store them you can use them and upcycle them and things they're really good sturdy boxes alone I love we've got print inside this one too all those snowflakes so Claire Rowlands is um, she's the lady that draws all the Daisy Made Designs images and um, she has obviously created projects in here for you um, she's also designed the stamps and things like that but she's left little quotes around too so crafting is happiness absolutely so let's have a look we'll look into the booklet and a little more detail in a moment but you have got around about usually about 16 projects in the booklet all using things from the box so you know that you're going to have lots to uh, play with as soon as you get it home and this is if anyone doesn't know this is Claire Rowland so she is the Daisy May Designs designer so in here there's other goodies there always is I love the color of this tissue paper it actually matches my top today really nicely which is just pure coincidence because I do love the color that much but this is the wallet now this is the one the bit that everybody loves to open it's fantastic storage solution anyway but you've also got lots of goodies in here so um, as always we have got the reminder here don't forget if you are popping any photos of your uh, papercraft society makes online use that hashtag papercraft society so then we can find your uh, projects and we can maybe even share them too so as i said claire is known for her stamps so let's look at these stamps first of all i'm going to bring the papers assuming they're white on the back so you can see these a little more clearly we've got polar bears yes i hoped we did because there's an image of a polar bear on the front of the box we've got snowflakes polar bears we've got this brilliant large sentiment that's it's just all winter words we've got snow brrr, brrr. i can't roll my r's but i can say brrr. Uh, winter frosty ski fun skate um i think that oh, sleigh rides fun oh, i think i've said fun already sorry so you've got some repeating words there but that's going to create a fantastic background so you've got the sledging um a polar bear there he's also got a penguin on his lap his hat's about to come off you've got um <laughs> you've got the polar bear at the skate park you can just see either side there you've got his skates on his feet and his just his nose is in the water a little fish in front of him then you've got the polar bear just balancing on top of a present that's on the tag it says just for you and you've got this little mouse here wrapped up with a scarf as well just trying to offer him a fish actually funny enough and you've got all the snowballs as well so they are the stamps now I've just looked aside and I can see here we've also got some dies now these dies probably look a little odd in shape but the idea is that these dies are going to cut out or I presume they are they're going to cut out your stamp shape so we've got three large stamp shapes which will be these three we've got the square that can cut around your sentiment uh, you've also got the triangle there that's got for the snowballs you've got snowflakes in there as well and we've got the word looks like it says frosty it's backwards but it's frosty there as well with the drop shadow so you've got all of those dies to go alongside your stamps I love these you don't have to be an expert colorist either because with these I think the detail is so exquisite in the stamps that you can just simply stamp them and use those as your toppers and your images without the need to color them in and then we've got these beautiful papers these are gorgeous these actually are very matte there's no shine to them at all so they're a nice smooth matte perfect for stamping on perfect for fussy cutting and die cutting they're a good weight as well i want to say around not 190 to 200 gsm i should imagine 
I can't tell you for sure, but that's what I think they are. So you've got your pattern papers there. You've got four different pattern papers. And then we've got some plain white cardstock. Now, this is super smooth cardstock. This is going to be your stamping cardstock. So as I said, Claire knows all about stamping and um, images. So uh, I'd imagine she's chosen that to work just with your stamps. But it's a really good weight, actually. It felt really thick, so you can probably die cut it as well. Now you've started to see some of the contents. Let's just take a look at a few of the projects that you can be making. Making. they're all inside oh look at that that's amazing coloring absolutely beautiful but you've got projects in here so everything in your box you're going to be able to use really easily we've got people like Sarah Jackman Reed has created there one of our own magazine editors Nikki Gilbert has created in here as well um, which is this one look at that a gorgeous shaker card with that polar bear on the present inside gorgeous Claire Rowlands uh, so Claire as I said at the beginning this is Claire hello to her uh, she has created this really pretty little um, it's like a frame it's almost it's it's like an embroidery frame she's just used it to frame one of her images and colored that in really really pretty you've got a lot in here you'll all also have uh, your interview with Claire as well so you can read up all about her there's a lot for you to be getting on with as soon as you receive this box home now let's take a look inside the rest of the box in here let's see okay now we've got some we've got an envelope we've got, oh we've got don't now these are shaker domes so if I just open this up, let's count, see if I can count these, because what I find, they usually stick together quite well. I'm just going to move this to the side a bit. They usually stick together. So there's one, two, there's five. There's five shaker domes there. So you pop your glue or your tape on the reverse, and you put those over some sequins, create a quick and easy shaker card. How brilliant are those? I love that option. So I'm sure you've got shaker cards within the project booklet as well. Then we've got the ribbon, or it's kind of like a, a hessian, isn't it? Or a burlap. There's a lot there as well. Can you see? You can see lots and lots there. And this is kind of a signature of Claire. She uses this a lot on her projects. Not sure what's in here, so I'll have to open the envelope. Oh, I just got a sneak peek. Some, I just saw something just peeking out there, and it looked like, yeah, sequin white. Oh, white iridescent sequins. Beautiful. Love those. And you're getting a lot in there as well. And what I love is that these are now packaged, rather than in plastic, they're now packaged in paper. So that just means that you're going to get that option to recycle the envelope when you're done with it. Um, love that, looking after the planet. And lastly, we have our coordinating cardstock. So the coordinating cardstock is always um, double-sided and a really good weight as well. It's smooth and it's matte, so you can stamp on it, you can die cut into it. So we have two sheets of blue. It also has a white core though, although it's double-sided, the inside is white. So if you want to uh, emboss this and sand it back or tear and things like that, you can do that, do your distressing techniques. You've got two sheets of pink. You've got two sheets of green there. Let's just see if I can get my fingers around those. And then you've got two sheets of this gorgeous dark red too. Absolutely beautiful. So that's everything that's inside this month's Paper Craft Society box. And that will be coming out to subscribers very soon. But if you are interested in subscribing yourself, there's lots and lots of benefits to subscribing. So within each of the Papercraft Society boxes, I've already mentioned the contents are worth over £60. Now, obviously, you're not going to be paying anywhere near that. This does come with free UK postage as well every month. So you can just sit back and relax knowing that it's going to be delivered to your door for you uh, right on time. So you're the one of the first ones to get hold of it. There's going to be a new designer every month in every box. So some designers are repeated maybe a year later, but all your favorite crafters from Craft Stash, but also we have people from other realms. So people like Lisa Horton, uh, John Lockwood as well, all uh, do their own boxes too occasionally. There's exclusive online tutorials as well. So we do have a, um, a Facebook group and you can come along and join this. And then there's a fantastic craft along that each of the designers creates for us each month so you can join along with that 
In each of the boxes, there's also free downloads. Um, these are usually the papers that are in the box, but sometimes there's even more as well. So you can download those once you've used your papers up and reuse them time and time again. So when you sign up to a 12 month subscription, you're going to save over six pounds on each and every box. But there are other options as well. So if you join uh, for six months on a six month subscription, you get a free passed box as well. And you can pause or cancel your subscription at any time. So there's no commitment there. Um, this is also available overseas. If you are overseas and you're wondering if you can get hold of it, you absolutely can, of course, um, but you won't qualify for the free UK postage. But then there's also other exclusive offers that come out just to you who are subscribers. So it's well worth being part of that. And these could be um, offers for products. They could be offers for things like um, money off past boxes. There's all sorts there. So keep an eye on your emails if you are a subscriber. So it's well worth subscribing. Um, now you've seen the contents of the box, I hope you'll continue to subscribe for this month. And if you haven't already subscribed, certainly go along to www.papercraftsociety.co.uk to see all the details for signing up.